The USA is a modern society. Like all modern societies, it uses a lot of energy, meaning 24% of the world's energy consumption. This energy used all around the world comes from many sources. Much of it comes from burning fossil fuels, such as oil and coal. Other energy comes from the power of flowing water, the light of the sun, the wind, or the earth's heat, which are called renewable energy sources. But by harnessing the energy sources to our benefit, we are endangering the environment with pollution in other ways as well. And that brings us to what you are going to find out about today. The environmental impacts of fossil fuels versus renewable energy sources. Which one supports the idea of Earth Day the most? Let's start with fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are fossilized plants and animals that got pressed by the growing layers of sediment and rock and turned into fuels like coal and oil. This doesn't sound harmful, right? Wait and see. The first way that fossil fuels make an impact on the environment is that they create pollutants. When the fossil fuels are burned, the carbon dioxide stored inside, now pollutants, are released into the air. This in turn leads to the growth of the ozone layer, a shell of greenhouse gases that covers the earth. The ozone layer traps heat from the sun, so earth doesn't become a frozen land where nothing can live. But if the ozone layer gets too thick, it will trap too much heat, causing droughts and record heat waves. And with the poles melting, there can be serious floods too. Another way fossil fuels are a big issue to the environment is that when being transported by either pipeline, train, or ship, oil can leak out to create a disastrous oil spill. The oil spreads out, making it hard to stop it. And if it's in water, the oil can spread even faster and farther. It takes a ton of money and time to clean it up, and sometimes you can't make the environment back to what it was if a lot of plants and animals die from water poisoning or being covered in that slick stuff. If even one living thing dies out, it can create a massive impact to a food web. For example, in the woodland forests, hawks and owls feed on mice and voles, which eat seeds and small plants. If either of the animals die out, it can cause food problems in the whole food web. Now, let's get on to the environmental impacts made by renewable energy sources. There are four main renewable energy sources as we know from before. Hydroelectricity, solar power, wind power, and finally, geothermal energy. Out of those, two of them make the most impact on the environment. These may not seem as they cause much harm, but you may be surprised. The first renewable energy source that has a harmful impact on the environment is hydroelectricity energy made from the strong flow of water. Hydroelectric energy is made in dams. These dams, other than making energy from the water's strong flow, prevents rivers from flooding. It may sound like a good thing to people, but it's actually not that good for plants nearby because floods deposit silt, a mixture of gravel, sand, and topsoil that keeps the plants nearby healthy and strong. Without silt, the plants become fewer and the animals that eat them move away. Also, dams block the route for fish that swim up and down rivers. In the U.S. Pacific Northwest, dams have been a big issue for salmon. Every three to five years, salmon swim from the ocean upriver's to lay eggs. With dams in the way, it's been harder for them than ever to continue with their journey. As a result, the number of salmon have become smaller, and the number of animals that wait for the salmon's long journey so they could feast diminish too. Geothermal energy is also dangerous to the environment because of the dangerous gases that are released from the ground when drilling for the Earth's core to get its heat. One of the most common of the gases released is hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide, when mixed with the atmosphere's air, turns into sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide then can turn into small acidic particles that can be absorbed by the bloodstream and cause lung and heart disease. Sulfur dioxide also causes acid rain, which destroys crops, forests, and soils, and acidifies lakes and streams, too. So, now that you know how fossil fuels and renewable energy sources can be both harmful to our environment, I present you the big question. Which do you think is better, fossil fuels or renewable energy sources? Using Powtoon.